Hi guys, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite Iranian dishes called al balu polo, which means cherry rice. It's sweet and sour. I don't know where it originates from. If you do know, please leave a comment below. All I know is that it's absolutely delicious. So let's get started. For this dish, I'm using one packet of frozen Morello cherries. I put it in a pan with high sides and add three tablespoons of sugar. Do not add any water as the cherries release water themselves. Just turn the heat down to medium low and allow the cherries to cook. You don't need to do anything to them, just let them cook on a low heat. Now I'm going to make the meatballs. To the meatballs I add 1 tablespoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of pepper and 1 small grated onion. I massage the meat well. And I also do add one teaspoon of saffron, however that is absolutely optional. Once you have massaged the meat and mixed all the ingredients, it's time to create your meatballs. Make the meatballs as small as possible if you can, however I couldn't be bothered making them too small, so I just made them a medium size. Heat up some butter and oil in a pan and then add the meatballs and fry them on a medium heat until they begin to brown and look like this. Once your meatballs look like this, add some dissolved saffron which I have a video on so please check that out and then remove them from the heat. Now it's time to parboil the rice, so bring a pan to, with water to boil, add some salt and then add the soaked rice and allow the rice to boil with the water for around 10 minutes. We don't want the rice to cook, however we want it to be half cooked so when you taste it it will still have a bite to it, however it would have doubled in size. Then. We can move on to assembling. So here's the cherries, remember I've added no water, this is all the juice that's been released from the cherries. In your pan add some oil, add some saffron, again that's optional. I also add some sesame seeds, this is for the tadik. Then add the bread of your choice, I'm using some Lebanese bread, uh, it's pita, I think that works best, however you can use some tortilla bread if that's all you can get your hands on. Then add a layer of your parboiled rice to the bottom of the pan and then we will add some of the cherries along with their juice. Just don't add too much juice because you don't want the rice to be too stodgy. However, add around one tablespoon I would say of the juice. Then we add the meatballs on top along with the saffron that we fried the meatballs in. And then we top it again with a layer of rice. Keep going until the last layer you end up with is rice. Don't forget all the measurements for this video can be found in the description box below. Once you have finished the last layer, cover the lid of the pan with a piece of cloth and allow the rice to steam cook on the lowest heat for around half an hour to 40 minutes and then you're ready to serve. So as you can see the tadig has turned a bit darker than it usually does and that's because of the cherry juice, however it was delicious. If you like food that is sweet and sour you will love this dish. I know many people will be surprised you can use cherries in a savoury dish but honestly try it and you will be surprised. Don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching.